everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a nice, cool Sunday afternoon here in Finley, Ohio. I'm getting some yard work in and watching my dog run around terrorizing things in the yard. I uh, decided it's time for a little bit of a break, so it's time to do a quick beer review. If you watch my unboxing video I did about a week ago or so, um, you probably remember I picked up a bunch of international beers that I didn't really... You know, you don't really see on the shelves up here in Northwest Ohio. Um, you know, probably not the greatest beers in the world. I know there's folks that would say, why are you buying that stuff when you could buy Drecker at Equilibrium and all these kind of high-end breweries? I like those too, uh, but I'm always kind of interested to see what is what else is out there in the beer landscape. So when I started drinking beer, um, you know, I'd say this is probably late 80s, early 90s, um, you really did, you had some craft beers out there, but it was mostly kind of localized. So Philly had a few things like Dock Street and that kind of stuff. Um, but most of what you'd find would be a lot of international beers, a lot of imports. Um, over the years, I think we've kind of gone away from that, and I find that somewhat, I don't know, disconcerting. I'm thrilled to have all the great local beers, but I do miss trying stuff from other countries. It's always cool to see what people are drinking, you know, in other places around the world. So with that in mind, I did pick up a few international beers, and I'm going to run through those, you know, over the next week or so. Um, this one here is called Aguilla. And Aguilla is Spanish for eagle. So as a Philly boy, I couldn't pass up on a beer with an eagle on it, could I? I had to take my chances on that. And this is from Colombia. Now, when I looked online, it said this is from Cerveceria Bavaria, which is Bogota, Colombia. Um, and it looks like this may or may not be part of the Molson Coors family now. I did find some um, one link when I looked up Aguilla. It took you to this Molson Coors thing. So I guess they might own this brewery or, or something like that. Now, that being said, I don't really see this around me um, very often, so I did order it from that halftime beverage in New York. So this is supposed to be an American lager. Um, to be honest, my expectations aren't super high. In my experience, a lot of the beers you get, especially the macro type ones, um, tend to be kind of generic beer for warmer climates. So, you know, maybe it's that, or maybe it'll be a little better than I expect. As far as the ratings, it didn't do particularly great. 2.79 on untapped, uh, 2.71 on beer aggregate. I thought it said twist off. Yeah, it said twist, but... Doesn't seem to be wanting to twist. Oh well, use the opener. I'm trying to not damage the cap is why I'm doing 8,000 small uh, opening attempts here. Cap is, eh, it's got a little bit of an eagle on it. Let's see if I can find a picture of it online. I'll post it there if you like to see it. Ratings wise, like I said, not particularly great. Untapped 2.79, Beer Advocate 2.71, overall rating 65.4. Try to give it a little bit of a vigorous pour. Channel my inner Brian, the beer snob. Not going full scale hard pour, but let's try to get a little bit ahead on this thing. Visually, exactly what I had expected. Um, pretty much clear yellow. Now, if I'm gonna go with my Brew HQ SRM chart, one or a two, pale straw, you can see right through it. Ton of carbonation. Had a lot of bubbles going on in there. Kind of fine, like almost like those little champagne-looking bubbles. Head, now I will say this, the head surprised me a little bit, and it looks like we have at least two fingers of a nice pillowy white head here. Um, doesn't look too bad. Usually with these kind of beers, you don't get much of a head, and if you do, it dissipates like almost immediately. So I'm kind of surprised that this is hanging around as long as it has. Again, with the bubbles, I don't know, I'm getting a, a champagne of beers kind of vibe here. Um, this is kind of like a high life looking thing. If I just saw this blind, maybe I think that's what it was. Let's give it a sniff. It's just getting over the flu, so I have to make sure I get a good smell here. I think I've had the unluckiest maybe couple months of my life. I had COVID, I ended up getting the flu, had a sinus infection. It's just been a nightmare. Thus, very few videos. Plus, changing jobs, some other stuff going on, dealing with a puppy. Um, but that's it. enough complaining. Time for a beer. Smells not that bad. Um, I, I, you know, I went on, on to uh, Beer Advocate and saw some of the stuff they'd written, and a lot of people were saying skunky and this and that. Mine's not skunky whatsoever. Even for an adjunct, I mean, you pick up like a, a slight sweetness. Um, I, they had it listed as an American lager on Untapped, uh, but the more I was reading, it looks like it's just an adjunct lager is what I expected. It doesn't really have that gross adjunct smell. Usually that big corn sweetness is off-putting to me. You get a little bit of it. But it's, it's not too bad. 
What else you pick up? Not much. I mean, there's definitely no hop smell, nothing crazy going on. No nasty alcohol kind of smell, no skunkiness. That smells all right. All right, let's give it a shot. It's enough sniffing the beer, huh? Body's actually not terrible on this, probably medium. I was expecting a lighter body on this. It's on the low end of medium, but it's not a terrible body. The taste is a bit odd. Taste is odd. I will say this. You pick up, obviously, the, the kind of adjunct sweetness you associate with corn and those types of things. Ooh, now it's getting weird. I'm trying to see if it says anything about uh, what's in it. Original de Barranquilla. I guess maybe it was originally from Barranquilla, Colombia. Not much else. Um, you get like a, a sweet adjunct thing up front. Not super sweet though, right? You get like a light bready malt, and then it kind of gets funky. Um, it, it's it's not even like a bitterness. I, you know, a lot of times when you drink beers, I guess if you're lucky, maybe there's a tiny bit of a hops presence, and you pick up some bitterness at the end. I'm not picking up the bitterness, but I'm picking up some kind of funky, weird, I don't know, chemically taste almost. It, like once you drink it in the back of your throat, you kind of taste it, and you know, feel it on my lips and my mouth now. It's not very nice. It's a shame. That's almost like two like <laughs> two separate beers. I think when I initially drank it, I thought, this isn't as bad as everybody said. Why has it got a 65 pour rating? Then once I swallowed it and you give it a second, you're like, oh, I see. Now I understand why. It's kind of like getting a lottery ticket. You scratch it off and you win, right, the scratch-offs, and you win another lottery ticket. So not exactly a victory, right? Uh, now, I will say this. I'm thrilled to be able to try it. Never had a Colombian beer. And I get this is probably a macro Colombian beer, right? Um, would love to try some of the other stuff that's made in these other countries. Most of the stuff we get here tends to be macro. And, I, you know, it sucks. It's like other people judging American beer by Bud Miller. Or, or, yeah, and then there's obviously people that like those things. But it's great to see the other stuff that's out there. So I'd love to try some other Colombian ones. Because for me, this actually is just not getting it done. Now, if I was in Columbia, at a Colombian restaurant, or if you're in Colombia hanging out, would I drink these? Yeah. I mean, it's not so terrible that I wouldn't drink another one. Um, but it, it would... There would probably have to be very limited options because that little taste you get at the end there is is kind of off-putting for me um, and would probably push me away from it if there were other options. So, unfortunately, Akia, you're an eagle beer. I wanted to give you a big thumbs up, but this one's just not coming through for me. So this would be a thumbs down, unfortunately. Hopefully you liked the video. Don't give me a thumbs down. Um, if you like the videos, please hit that big thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had a Gia? Have you had any other Colombian beers? I would absolutely love to try some different Colombian or South American beers. I see very few. I think I see a couple of the, the Brazilian ones, and this would probably be the only other South American one that I've really seen. No, Argentina. You usually see that Quilmes or whatever it is for Argentina, but it's about it. Hey, still thrilled to be able to try it. I'm loving the halftime order. I'll probably be placing another one soon just because you can pick so many different things I don't see on the shelves here. Um, you know, hope you guys have a great week ahead. Till next time, cheers.